morning. Today I want to talk about clean beauty and um, my favorite products that I just cannot do without. Um, all of these products that I'm going to show you are uh, free of toxins and completely clean, cruelty-free, vegan products um, that I have tried over the years and these are kind of my staples that I always have in my um, closet and on my trips with me. But I love all of these products and I'm going to break them down from washing your face all the way until getting ready to go out into the world. Let's get started. So first, when you wash your face, you have to cleanse it. So I have four cleansers here that I love. Um, three of them come in glass bottles, which I really love. And the fourth one is not in a glass bottle, but you can recycle this bottle. And um, it's good for traveling if you don't wanna take a heavy glass bottle with you. So first, I just found this company called House of Hilt. And this is their herbal mint cleanser, and it smells incredible it's really smooth and soft and it goes on really easily and cleanses and gets into your pores and then washes off really cleanly so really into this house of hilt cleanser the next one is uh, the belle fraise cleansing milk from edible beauty australia one of my favorite companies you'll see them in probably every section of this video um, they are a really clean beauty company and the name Edible Beauty is because they stand behind the fact that you could eat their products. They're so clean, which is amazing. They also have this really amazing um, system that makes it really easy. All of their bottles are numbered. So this is number one. Suki is a company um, based in Northampton, um, near to where I'm from in Massachusetts. And this is their purifying foaming cleanser. It comes out like a sticky lotion and then as you mix it up in your hands, it just like foams up and it feels so good on your face and it cleans really well as well. And Frey is a company, for every purchase that you make, they plant an argan tree and uh, their products are infused with argan oil and it's awesome. Um, they're a really do good company. Um, and they're also formulated for active skin, so I use this when I'm gonna be going to a workout or a hike or something, and you'll see more of their products later on as well. These are my four cleansers. The next section is for scrubs. Now, scrubs should not be used every day. They're an exfoliator, um, so you don't want to just be like rubbing your skin raw every day. <laughs> so cleansers are a really nice option for an everyday cleaning of your face and scrubs are great for maybe two to three times a week depending on how sensitive your skin is. This one is from Suki um, and it's the exfoliate foaming cleanser and it's a sugar scrub and so it kind of foams up on your face and then it like melts because the sugar mixed with the water melts into your face and it feels amazing and it smells really good so this one's awesome and this again is house of hilt it's the other product that i have from them and it's a lemon ginger scrub so it smells unbelievable and it really um cleans and smooths out your face scrubs toners i love toners as you guys probably know, because I make my own and I use it all the time, and it's actually not in this lineup, but I probably use my own toner the most, and um, I just didn't bring it out because you guys already know it, it's on my blog, whatever. Great. Go make your own. But if you're not going to make your own, this is from Edible Beauty. It is number two, and this is their Citrus Rhapsody Toner Mist really bright and light and absorbs into the skin. The reason you want to use toner before you start putting um, serums and um, uh, oils and moisturizers on your skin is because the toner um, helps open your pores up so that your skin can absorb all the other stuff. Suki, this is their um, concentrated clarifying toner. It's really good if you have um, skin problems. It helps clear up your skin, so. Love that one. And this is a really nice little travel size. Altea, this is their rose water that I use in um, my cleanser and I mix it with other stuff, um, but it conveniently comes with um, a spray top. So you could just use this onto your face if you just want pure rose water on your face. So I wanted to bring this out as a super clean option. This is just straight rose water, um, really calming and soothing for the skin. Welcome to my heaven, serums. 
Serums are a pretty hot topic right now on the beauty scene and as they should be. They're a really beautiful mix almost between an oil and a moisturizer almost. So not like lotion-y and not super oily, but they just kind of sink and absorb into the skin really well. So these are my favorites. I have a lot of serums and I use them um, in the morning, at night, in the middle of the day. Love serums. Um, so the first company I want to talk about is Pure Bioderm, and these are their two serums. Both come in glass bottles, both are a very good size for travel. This is their B5 Hydrating Serum for keeping the fine lines um, at a minimum and just for kind of aging naturally. Hyaluronic acid has been used for a while. So Pure, this one, the B5 Hydrating Serum, has hyaluronic acid in it. This is their other one, Antioxidant Super Serum, and it comes in a black bottle. It's a little bit more pricey, and it just is like an elevated level of antioxidants to help the skin protect against um, environmental radicals and things that are flying around, and um, it's pretty amazing. It has really high dose of vitamin C in it as well. Um, Back to Edible Beauty, this is number three, the Exotic Goddess Ageless Serum. I love this serum. It is smooth and delicious and goes on after the toner, if you're gonna do the whole lineup of Edible Beauty. This is another product from Edible Beauty that is awesome. It's called the Turmeric Beauty Latte, which, yum. If you're gonna drink a turmeric latte, you might as well also have one on your face. I really like this at night um, to kind of uh, set in everything from the day and just go to sleep in this beautiful latte. Um, you can also use it in the morning. Uh, this one is called Happy Hour Balancing Serum from Leilani. They're a Hawaiian company and um, it just has this really nice beachy vibe and smells delicious and feels really good on the skin. Um, this is Phrase uh, Serum, so if I'm heading to a workout I'll use this serum serums, moisturizers. Um, so even though I love serum so much, I do have a lot of moisturizers that I really like. I want to feel light and supported and um, glowy and uh, moisturized. So here are my favorites. This is the House of Held Avocado Rose Hip Moisturizer and it plumps and protects and it smells so good and it's like an avocado mousse. I mean, it feels amazing. It's delicious. Um, Edible Beauty number four, Vanilla Silk Hydrating Lotion. Um, I love everything from this company. Everything that they make smells so good and slightly different. So this one has like that vanilla scent. I love it. Altea Organic. So this is the same company that I get my rose water from. This is their Rose Jasmanium Timeless Glow Renewal Moisturizer. and. It's really lovely. It smells like rose. The products come from Bulgaria, so it's Bulgarian rose products. Yes, please. True Self Organics. I really like these products. Um, they come in um, plastic, so um, not glass, but great for travel, great sizes. So this is their Ocean Mineral Moisturizer that um, I love. It has essential oils and antioxidants, and it hydrates the skin and refreshes your face. Beauty by Earth um, has this really creative packaging that I really like. I have a few products, you'll see one more today. Um, this is their oil control face moisturizer, so if I'm ever feeling a little oily, I slap this baby on. Um, great travel size, really good to have in a backpack or a purse. And then we're back to Frey, our um, formulated for active skin company that is also a really good give back company. Um, and grows argan trees, and that's a beautiful thing. So we have their Protect Me, which is their defense facial moisturizer, and it's SPF 30, so really good to carry in your bag for a hike um, with that SPF 30 in there. And then more recently, they came out with this one, which is their tinted defense moisturizer, Glow Me. Um, and this has SPF 15, so it will work great if you want to hike um, not as far and look super cute moisturizers. Facial oils. I like oils and I really like using them at night. I find them really soothing. I'll use like an eye cream, which I'll show you in a second, um, and some oil and serums to kind of lock in everything and let my skin just 
be in that state overnight. I understand not wanting to look like an oily mess all day, but overnight it's really nice to put some oils on your face and um, just kind of hang out in that space overnight. So um, I really like this Marula oil from Vigamore. And Vigamore is a company that um, I've talked a little bit about because they have this whole natural vegan eyelash growth um, system that I love. Um, and they also make this marula oil and it has bergamot in it So it has this nice floral scent and it feels really nice. It's light. It's lovely So I use that and then I also use um, this pure adore um, Rose hip seed oil. I was looking up like natural alternatives to retinol and I found that rose hip seed oil um, Has similar properties and is just an oil. So I got this one from pure adore, which I really um, like and it just, on this bottle, it says for flawless skin from head to toe, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, it's really nice. It doesn't have any chemicals in it and no synthetic fragrances. Um, it's gluten-free, <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Facial oils are good. We have come to our eye creams. Um, to say that I have struggled with under eye bags my entire life of realizing that that's a thing is an understatement. It doesn't matter how much sleep I get, I think the skin under my eyes is just very thin and that's okay. Anyway, under eye bag situation is pretty next level in my life and so I really like eye creams and I like to kind of dab them in and just let them absorb. I also love using um, eye patches. Edible Beauty can't, can't just argue with it. It's so good. So once you've used numbers one through four, they have these additional um, products obviously and they just call them and. So it's like in addition to, use this. So this one is called Gold Rush Eye Balm and it's just lovely. I want to eat it. This actually has flecks of gold in it, which is just next level and over the top and the best. Rejuvenating, radiance boosting, and hydrating. Don't we all want that? Okay, Altea Organic. This is their Rose Jasmanium Active Vitality Energizing Eye Cream. It smells amazing. Um, I use it at night. It's great. Beauty by Earth. This is their coffee bean eye cream. The only kind of coffee that I like when it helps me reduce my bags under my eyes. <laughs> um, I really like this in the morning. It doesn't smell like coffee, so I love it. Eye cream. Okay, masks. I love masks. Again, like um, exfoliators, they should not be used every day. Um, usually I'll do a mask two to three times a week. Edible Beauty. This mask, they just came out with this, it's called the Sleeping Beauty Purifying Mousse. So it's, um, it doesn't feel like a mask. It feels like a sticky moisturizer almost and you just apply a smooth, thin layer over your whole face and you sleep in it. And you really do feel like a sleeping beauty and when you wipe it off in the morning, I wipe it off with like a warm washcloth, um, literally glowing as much as I can when I wake up. <laughs> Suki, this is their transformative purifying mask. I really like this mask. Um, I'll use it to spot treat uh, zits. Um, you can leave that on overnight. And again, it has a similar quality as this mousse to go on. It's very like thin, thin layer all over the face. When you uh, wash it off, um, you feel brighter and um, balmier. True Self Organics Detoxifying Mask. Love this, it's a clay mask. So um, if you are feeling very dry anyway, I would not recommend this mask. Um, it's a, it kind of pulls out the toxins in your skin. I'll bring it traveling, like I'll usually bring a clay mask and a more like wet mask when I travel. And um, that seems to help kind of balance out whatever happens on the plane and however my skin is feeling. I love mixing clay masks with um, apple cider vinegar instead of water. It kind of gets this foamy magic happening and then it goes on a little bit smoother and more bubbly and then you can feel it working and pulling out the toxins and the bacteria. So pro tip, detoxifying mask with apple cider vinegar as your mixer. And if you have really sensitive skin, mix the apple cider vinegar with water, water it down and then mix it with this. Last one in this section, the Frey Detox Me Post Sweat 
clearing mask. So this is a really nice mask to use after your hike where you looked cute because you were wearing the tinted moisturizer from Frey. It has this kind of um, cooling, like minty effect. So it feels really uh, relaxing and cooling on the face as well. Masks. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this um, pretty sunny morning. I will obviously link the products below and a few of the companies have very generously offered me a discount code that I can share with you guys and you can get up to 25% off these products, which is amazing um, and really exciting and so kind of these companies. Um, I really stand behind each of these products that I have told you about today, and I can't wait to hear how you like them. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, please reach out, tell me which products you've tried or are excited about trying to your natural beauty.